Hello and welcome back, I am Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Duke Phineas II. We're 53, we've successfully murdered China. Uh, she wasn't caught, no one has any reason to place blame on me. We've murdered another baby, fantastic. Uh, we're gonna continue to clear out our court for people that don't like us. Outraged by succession law changed, murdered close skin. Uh, that is my daughter-in-law. She is in my court, evidently. Hold on, at court in Dabat Semyon. And my son... Tay, who is, has been trying to murder people, who lives over in uh, Shendi At Atbara, has left his wife behind. Could you please go, like, get out of here. At court in Kawa Makuria. She didn't even go to where her husband is. What kind of, what kind of wedding is this, huh? Why is it that you're not following your family? Alright, so our lowest opinion in the realm now is actually uh, a landed man. The Count of Begemen Begemder. We're still a known murderer. He's a title claimant. He's got a claim on uh, the county of Asab and the duchy. It's a weak claim, however. So, uh, that that guy's not, not nothing to really worry about too much. Interesting how the negative 2 is higher up than the negative 23. Nice work there, game. You're just a random courtier who is, uh, thinks we're a foreigner infidel. She's Jewish. She can stay. We're not going to be uh, a Maiaphysite for too much longer, hopefully. All right, we've murdered most of the, the dynasty that was causing issues there. Next, we're waiting for 840, or we're waiting for some other claim to pop up that we can press. On death, their titles might pass from your realm, the Baron here. I don't know if this is actually true, though. You know what? We should test it. We should just murder this guy. Could we murder him? Yeah, let's do it and see what happens. I, I want to see if this is actually being truthful or not. Because, generally speaking, if a, if a barren tier vassal dies without an heir, the land will go to their leash, their direct leash. And I am your direct leash. It's still showing you, but I'm wondering if maybe it will recalculate after, um, after death. We'll find out. Um, your hunting dog has died. Wait, no, your hunting dog needs proper training. I will train him personally. Let's become diligent, hopefully. Of course I will go crowsing with you. Please don't get pissed at me again. I'm scared. Your hot temper is intimidating. Not a lot of very high diplomacy guys available. Our steward is not a powerful vassal. Funny how this mayor is still considered to be a powerful vassal. You have arrived at the private rooms, and uh, we're crowsing. Nice. Good thing we don't have to worry about raiding anymore. It would be nice if we could go raiding. I feel like everyone should be able to raid. Count uh, has brought out the board in pieces and suggests that you play a few rounds. Alright, nephew. Let's see what you got. You played for hours, the tides of fortune ebbing and flowing as you tried to attack your opponent's positions without opening your defenses your defense too much. Eventually you found a critical opening and made a few inspired and aggressive moves and won the game. I am now an apprentice board gamer. Cool, so I'm an apprentice board gamer and I am, I believe, still an, an adept of strategy. The reveling and crossing is over for now, time to get back to real life. I'll dedicate all my free time to games now. Game master, narrow flank, same trait, diplomacy and martial. All these things seem awesome, let's do it. Apprentice board gamer goes away. That is fine. We are now a game master. So we have narrow flank plus 55.5%. We have uh, movement speed plus 37%. It's pretty massive. I think I want to save most of our money to upgrade this, this newest castle because it's going to be the, the easiest one to actually get cheap upgrades on. Like the militia training ground and that kind of th stuff here. Get the castle walls next year. Though I had thought Gideon to be a more reasonable man, his request to duel someone is blah 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 blah. This guy is a, uh... It's Gideon Gideon. He's 22 and unwed. Well, you should be procreating. I, uh, well, who are you trying to duel? Someone that I, I would prefer for you to not duel. I'm not gonna banish you. But, uh, you need a woman because we need more Jews in the world. Excuse me? Here's a bastard. Why don't you marry her? I will not be your commander. Still. We have the Azim grandson who is willful, brooding, and fussy. Willful, eh, military. We want strong allies. 
I believe strong allies is the key to success. In the past months, you've been spending a lot of time outside training and tr your trusty hunting dog. You find that the combination of daily physical exercise and fresh air are doing wonders for your health and constitution. Uh, we've gained the trait diligent. Fantastic. Vassal opinion plus five. It's a great trait to have. So our vassals will hopefully like us just a bit more. Dishonorable will expire in 841. Huh, maybe. Unless we keep on murdering people. And here's where we're going to find out what happens here with this uh, worrisome line of succession. The Baron Girma. Uh, we're looking at the, the Mosque of Hausen. Ha ha Hausen. Failure. My complicity was discovered. Uh, that's bad. Um, he is a bit of a lunatic. Actually, one thing I want to test as well here is, will... I'm assuming, okay, if if it goes to this guy, he's going to steal 225 gold from our realm. Instead of us getting that money. If it goes to me, that would be better. I know for sure that if he has a boy, and then I murder him, it'll go to his boy, and then it will go to me. Which is why I'm, I'm trying to test it in the first place. Is I want to know, why is it that if he dies, and then it comes to me, it goes correctly, versus if he dies right now, it says it's going to go to him. Of course I'll go carousing. We love the drunk. We love the drink. Bring me bring me booze. Bring me all of the booze. One of the things that's really nice about CK2 is that you don't really have to look around the map nearly as much as in EU4. Like, I can literally just sit here and read events and look at characters. It's much more character-focused. In the past few months, uh, she is sick. My granddaughter. Bit of an idolizer. Easily impressed. Fervent desire to seek for ultimate truths. A son was born to Tegin. Ting Ting Alright, his name is Dewitt. As long as he's a Jew, I don't really care. Let's go for etiquette some more. We also need to potentially try to snap up some of the, uh... Some of the... Words. Snap up the, the good trait characters. before they get wed. Every now and then we just gotta like search for attractive strong geniuses and just make sure that they don't get betrothed to anyone else. And there's nothing. Well he's 15, we can arrange the betrothal... now. There's a 16 year old here, this will give us a non-aggression pact with a bishop. Negative 100 prestige for that. He is my direct son. Lose 100 prestige. Alright, let's just find him a wife. You know what? The bishop's wife is fine. Or the bishop's girl. It's fine. Alright, sweet! We've actually become friends! These days of revelry are an excellent escape. So many laughs and so many intense conversations. Hey, uh... Count Atoberhan, do you remember that one time where you got pissed and you chased me and I ran away? Haha, <laughs> it was fun, right? Haha, <laughs> you're my friend! Let's be friends! Come on, are we friends? I wanna be friends. We're friends now? Friend. Oh, we're only at plus 65 even after being friends. Great. <laughs> we still have some issues to work out. He's still ambitious. My co-conspirator has sent word that the carriage will soon suffer an unfortunate accident, leaving no survivors. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and uh, set this guy's special interest as well. Even though I think once he dies, he'll drop off of that list. Whatever. So he's got 234 gold. This guy has 200, uh, 229. Failure. My complicity was discovered. Am I getting, like, increasing increasing stacking penalties for being dishonorable? No. Good. Alright, just keep going. He knows we're trying to kill him. It's not going to stop us. Tengen, our heir, uh, could use a little bit of a bribe. His opinion of us is only positive 12. Entrusted ward, fired from council. Yeah, it happens. Here's 15 gold. Don't spend it all in one place. Our income is up to 127. We're losing 42 ducats now. Lots of peasants have been moving to the county of Axum lately. Your steward, Nagasi Nagasi, suggests building new roads in order to make it easier for the peasants to reach them. Cool, local build cost modifier. Naturally, right after I have clicked this button. Literally the second after I've done it in Axum. Look out! Hey, it's- oh, yes, it's the supports! <laughs> these, uh, <laughs> these balconies have never failed me. I mean, I've been caught once or twice, but the balconies always succeed. Get him! Get him! Yes! Success! <laughs> the Duke Phineas the Drunkard has inherited the bishopric. So I did inherit it, so the game was lying to me. Basically. That is very worth knowing, which means we probably did not just inherit 200 gold. 
What happened to all of your money? Tragic accident. Um, let's see if we can go back to the other guy. I want to see if he actually got the money, though. It was some tribal guy. I can't go back any further. It was the guy... It was this guy. He did not get the money. Did I actually, like... Maybe he spent some of the money there at the end? Maybe we did inherit it. Somebody comment down below. Let me know. Did I actually get that money? I think I did. Because we just built the castle. Or the, the thing. We have this modifier here. Uh, new roads, local build cost modifier. Now is a great time to upgrade stuff here. The mosque itself, I don't think we want to hold on to. And we don't want to grant it to a random person because that will make them uh, my physite. So we need to search our realm for uh, men who are Jews. Preferably Jews with high stewardship. Opinion of us is, is very negative. The Marshal of Vagemder. He's a pretty good guy. He's an administrator. Can I grant you land, even though you wouldn't accept an invitation to court? You are now a bishop. Congratulations. So, you're rather upset with me because you hate me. You're also now... <laughs> you're considered to be a powerful vassal. Hilarious. At age 23, Gideon Gideon died under suspicious circumstances. Someone has murdered one of my dynasty members. I am upset. Oh, apparently I have uh, joined the plot to murder Berta? It's showing the dot. Are you actually waiting for... Are you trying to invite me to, to murder him? Stop murdering. I need help with a delicate matter. Yes, let's ask him. Our stats have actually turned out to be very good with uh, our current character. Relative to what we started with, I think. We picked up a number of traits. We've gained diplomacy as well. I wish we could get rid of, like, some... This Craven modifier. The Lords of Abyssinia have approved the institution of the Ruler Imprisonment Sovereignty Law. So he's trying to move back toward having, uh... Some control of the council. He's, he's gotten this back, now he's working towards war declaration, most likely. As he's growing older, I can see that Desta could use my guidance in some of my experienced areas. It will require hard work. It may not always be appreciated, but this is my chance to make a self-sacrifice for the sake of Desta, my grandson. He is of House, uh, House Gideon. He's a willful, dull, cynical boy, age 14. He has no betrothed. Let's get that taken care of. I don't want him to become ambitious. I don't particularly want to become stressed. I can make him patient and have a temporary modifier to my stats for five years. I'm going to go ahead and take Stressed. Because I actually wouldn't mind if we die right now. If we die and we become Tegent, Ten... I can't even say this character's name. Ten Gene. Then the sooner we do that, the, the longer we can take advantage of this character. And I think that that wouldn't be bad. So we'll become Stressed. Betrothed can now marry. Alright, sounds good. Uh, go ahead and do it. A group of craftsmen has come to your court and shown off their work. They present you with fine goods, of which you are sure... There would be demand for in the realm. Noticing your interest, the craftsman asked for some capital to start up a workshop, saying they lack the funds to do it on their own. 50 gold, we can do a workshop in Semyon and prepare, begin preparations for producing goods, or we could not do that. I, I think we try it. Let's see what happens in Semyon. This is a sound investment. You know what I just realized? Tigrinia was the last Jewish holding. I, I can't believe I've, I've failed to realize this until now. That was the last Jewish province. And it's owned by a Muslim right now. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Is this campaign ruined? Is it wrecked? If we were to declare war on the Sultan, it's actually showing that no one would honor the call. Declare war. Okay, now you have to have, have something selected. He, he would call in the Kindid Emirate, who has 1,400 troops. He would call in the Emirate of Tripoli, who has 2,000, and he himself has 3,000. We have 4,000 men. I need this province back. I have to get this province back. We need some money, so we can hire mercs if necessary. But if he if he converts this province, of course he'll come crowsing with you. If he converts it, we're screwed when it comes to Judaism. 
Actually, no, that's, that's not exactly true because our heir is still Jewish. But the ability to convert a province is very, very difficult when you have... Um, our religious unity is at... Or moral authority, excuse me, is at 20.6. It's really crap. I'm very concerned. It's almost 840. Our truce is almost up with our liege. King Izur the Old is his name. April of next year. I will not become your command. Every year you ask me. Come on. We can imprison a bishop. He's acted dishonorably toward us. I, I pardon you for your sins, sir. Plots that we can do. We've got a uh, very strong plot against Rah Rahima. This this Jewish old Jewish lady. <laughs> we we're very upset with her about something. Kill Amon. Yeah, none of these plots really interested me too much. I, I feel like we have to go for this war. I want to have like 300 gold on hand, just in case. He is likely to possibly raise mercs himself. He's got 400 gold on hand. So yeah, if he murked up, and we didn't have mercs, we'd have some serious issues. It is a mountain province that we could just park our army on. And we do have narrow flank, so that would help out tremendously. Altogether, we have like 4,300 men. 30% chance we stop being stressed, and we are not. Cool. I, I feel compelled to just do it. He's 60. His heir... He only holds one holding. Himself, which is part of the reason why his levy is not very strong. 1800 from vassals. If he dies and his heir takes over, who has four holdings, this guy, he would lose the alliance packs with the other guys, but um, his personal domain levy would be much stronger. What are the chances of this guy dying? Sometime soon. He's greedy. He's homosexual. Age 60. I'd say that the chances of him dying soon are not very great. The other advantage would be that Prince Prince Hasum the Holy would actually be the holder of this province. But the levy's already very depleted. I was saying I was thinking he would raise the levy and then we could siege it faster. I've I've just I'm gonna do it. I don't care. We're going to win this war, claim it, it's mine, done, sold. We can call in uh, the Duchy of Mercuria as well, I've, also, I've forgotten about this already. So this guy's going to bring some men in as well. We have to get back our Jewish holdings. This is absolutely quintessential. Give back the damn Jewish holding. It's the last one there is, crying out loud. We have a daughter named Des. She's attractive. She will focus on etiquette. You can call in allies. Join me. Of course you will honor your obligation. I gave you your counties. You will use your men to assist me. Okay, we need to get as much war score as quickly as possible before bad things happen. Alright, you have... 2,000 some men. I have more than that. We're looking okay-ish for now. Message to join a plot. Say Gideon is trying to get me to join a plot to kill Berta. Uh, my son, I think you're confused. I don't want to join your plot. In fact, I've I've stopped just about everyone. from doing the plot. Why are you trying to invite me to kill him? The sooner we get the ticking war score, the better, but I don't want to assault. Got a very weak tribe there. We move out of the mountains, that's a bit of a concern. We want to stay near this guy's army, though, or have him come to us. We don't want him to lose any troops. I think we could afford to send uh, just a couple men to take that province really quickly. All right, this is going to be a, a trying war. We, we've got to succeed. We must succeed. I expect this land to return to proper Jewish holding. Three whole garrison, three, three whole garrison protecting that army, that, that province. Very nice. 
All right, cool. I'm gonna take a break here. Next episode, we're gonna win this province back, and we're gonna hold on to our Jewish heritage. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you again soon.